there is plenty more to come with the Mercedes W15 in season, regardless of how they start, with plenty of action to get from the ground effect F1 rules. And this news comes from their technical director, James Allison. With Formula One and the whole of the grid embarking on now its third year of this current ground effect rule set, there's a growing anticipation of a big convergence on the design first introduced by Red Bull back in 2022, which has slightly evolved over the last season or two with the downwash side pod concept that they first used. And we've seen the likes of McLaren and Aston Martin introduce a secondary, in a sense, sort of iteration of that with the uh, water slides. And with Mercedes now firmly on board with the Red Bull style of downwash side pods, it's their first year at fully looking and trying to develop their particular package to the best of their capabilities to try and get back to the front of the grid. And James Allison believes that there remains plenty of unexplored avenues that could deliver a competitive advantage to the team in the long run. I think most people will be iterating down a similar sort of avenue, but that doesn't mean that there isn't room for innovation at all. These cars, and it is no secret, run super near to the ground and that's where they get their best performance from. But there's also the ground there, so it's just trying to figure out how you can reliably, precisely and in an informed way place the car at a point above the ground that you know will be survivable from a skid legality point of view, but will also give you every bit of downforce that the car is capable of offering there is plenty of action still there. But before we get into Mercedes's particular trouble with their floor clearance, I want to know what your thoughts are for the upcoming season and the team. Do you think they're going to make big leaps and bounds in season or do you think it's going to be one where it's a bit of a struggle and there will be uh, the fourth fastest team throughout it and then launch a big attack for the following year? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, this is one of the things Mercedes dramatically have struggled with over the course of the first two seasons of this ground effect era. For the first season, when they introduced their Cirrhopods, they designed their car around running it far too near to the ground and this naturally induced porpoising and they weren't the only team to suffer from that. And then for the 23 season, there was the very slight alteration to the rules where they increased the height of the outer edge of the floor ahead of the rear ring by 10 millimeters and the diffuser by 15. And it, this was done to reduce the sensitivity of porpoising. And Mercedes themselves also doubled down on this by designing their second iteration of their zero pods a little bit too high off the ground and so they weren't getting as much or the maximum amount of downforce that they could possibly generate from their car concept. So the fact that now they go to the Red Bull style downwashed side pods, this leaves a lot of room for them to explore, particularly with the floor, because that's where all of this downforce with this current generation of cars stems from. And that, of course, as I've just mentioned, all comes from how low to the ground you can run the car. Before we move on, if you're currently enjoying the content you're watching, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as I will be doing a lot more of these types of videos, as well as covering all of the pre-season testing from the 21st to the 23rd of February, as well as, of course, the entire 2024 Formula One season. Right, let's get back to the main portion of the video. So Mercedes could be looking at a bit of a struggle on the initial launch of the car and for the beginning of the season because the likes of Red Bull and Aston Martin and McLaren, they've had, in most cases, two years with their particular concepts and they're still seeing loads and loads of potential and benefits in their particular wind tunnels and their design phases for their new cars and that's having obviously done two years with this design 
So Mercedes are naturally having to play catch up on a continuous basis. And that's not changing for the 24 season. And it isn't just Alison who has this particular belief. We've heard this from the McLaren camp. We've heard this from the Aston Martin camp. And now we're hearing it from the Alpine camp through their technical director, Matt Harmon, who said of Red Bull's RB19, we think we understand what they're doing. You can't click your fingers and just imagine it overnight. We understand our direction. But I think we've also understood some of the other cars on the grid as well. There are some other great cars there that have got some really interesting developments and it's about trying to understand what you're doing and what they're doing. In the end, if we just follow people, we will never be in front of them. I think it's a real mantra for us that we need to be inspired by them, but we need to follow our own path. So, in conclusion, I think, again, this is going to be a season of trials and tribulations for the Mercedes team. Yes, they have a lot of room for improvement and a lot of scope in their potential avenues that they can go down, as they have a huge amount of time to catch up on their knowledge and understanding to the levels of uh, Red Bull and McLaren in particular, I would say. And I think this is what this season is all about, getting a very nice base for them to launch a title challenge in the final year of the ground effect regulation before we switch into the new rule set in 2026 and I think that's what they're placing all their bets on I think they know internally that this isn't the year they will be fighting for the championships I think by the midpoint or the, towards the end of the year they could be fighting for wins and I think for any Mercedes fans out there that are watching this video, I think that's what you should you know, be expecting as well. I think you're going to see steady progress from the team. I think they now know which avenue they had to go down from the beginning and they're doing so now. And it's just a matter of playing catch up if they can. Right guys, that's the video. Hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and leave comments down below. Now, catch you all in another Formula One video.